Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be showing you various cars and trains I got from Greenberg's train show in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Uh, the Greenberg's train show is kind of a series, I guess, of train shows that are held throughout the U.S. at various points of the year. In the case of the Oaks show, um, they hold that every January and in July as well. My brother and I went there for the January show, and it was our first time there, and I would definitely say it was well worth going there. As you can see, I found all sorts of cars and HO scale trains as well, because I do have an HO scale layout that I will show in the latter portion of the video. But you can see I got some various Matchbox cars, a Hot Wheels car, and that cool Matchbox 5 pack that you see down there as well. So it was definitely well worth going. Some of the trains are a little bit dusty, but I'll clean them up later. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all of the items that are inside their boxes still. You can see I got that uh, Ferrari back there too. And first I'll show you some footage that I could get from the show. It was quite crowded, so I didn't really get a chance to film a whole lot. But um, we'll go ahead and see some of that footage first before I get into opening all the various things that I got from the show. Interesting refrigerator cars. And later that day, we ended up encountering a real train, as you'll see here. In this case, it was a SEPTA train. So as you saw with those previous few clips, um, the show did consist of various train layouts and various vendors selling a wide variety of trains and cars of different scales and varieties. So I think that show is definitely worth checking out. We're going to go ahead and start with this Hallmark Norfolk and Western steam locomotive that I, I got from there. I ended up getting each of these for $5, which is a steal, I think, because they originally retailed for probably you know $12 to $18. The wheels do work on here, and it is a fully die-cast metal model. Same thing with the tender as well. It says Norfolk and Western on the side there. I was definitely happy to find these because I am a fan of the real-life version of this particular um, steam locomotive, for sure. And as, and as you can see, they did come in these classic red boxes. And next, I also happened to find this 186-scale Chevrolet Caprice made by Kinsmart. And it's also a pullback, too, which is interesting. You can see it's in dark blue. Get that out of the blister here. I got that one for about $5. It's a pretty fast pullback, too, as you can see, for a tiny little car. But this will look good on my layout, for, for sure. I do like how they put in that Chevrolet badge on the hood there and have the separately cast grille. Next, I found this HO scale hopper car, the Rock Railway made by AHM. I don't believe they exist anymore in terms of a brand, but I got this for $5. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Get it out of the box. Definitely well detailed, I would say, for kind of a lower end HO scale model. You have all the rivets on the side and even have the coal mold as well. Very cool. I also like the light blue look of this, for sure. It'll definitely stand out on various trains. Next, I found this Zenith container flat car for seven bucks, as you see with that price tag on there. Not sure who makes this, because it does have that blank white box, but we'll pull that out. Very cool. And these containers actually are removable as well, which I think is a very cool touch, as you see right here. Awesome. Was glad to find that one. Definitely a more unique find, for sure. Up next, I did find various Matchbox cars at the show as well. These are all from the 1990s, with the exception of that blue and orange dump truck in the front there. That's from the mid to late um, 1970s. So we'll take a closer look at these models here. These were about 3 to $5 each, which I don't think is bad, considering that these are all in pretty much perfect condition, and you can't find these particular models at this point. 
First, we have this Model A Ford Penn State truck, which I thought was very cool. My brother ended up um, getting one as well, but it has the Penn State University logo on the roof, and then you have various Penn State decos on it as well. Up next, we have the Atlas dump truck in orange and blue, as you see right here. Looks very nice. This is from the 1970s. I got it for only $3, which I think is a good deal. At one point it did, I think, used to have decals on the orange dumper, but it, if anything, it looks better without the decals, I would say. So I was happy to find that one. Add it to my collection of 1970s Matchbox cars. Next we have this Ferrari 456 GT in purple with this kind of racing livery on it. It says Rush. Very nice. And the Tampos you see are a matte finish, which look very well done. And these three cars did come in these nice little yellow boxes that a lot of 1990s Matchbox cars came in. So I was definitely happy to get those. Up next, we have this 1993 Camaro Z28 in black with this unique kind of confetti and streamers decal. I thought that was cool, so I went ahead and got it. It does have the gold uh, wheels on there too, which look really nice. Last but not least for this Matchbox bunch, we have the Isuzu Rodeo in bright red. It says Power Parts 21 on the side, and you have some nice details on the roof. Very rugged looking truck. I would say all these were definitely cool finds for sure. I think these by themselves were definitely worth going to the show because you don't really see these in this good of shape and for the prices that I got them at too, too frequently. And then we have some more small scale cars here. Up first, we have this Hot Wheels Chevy Lumina taxi van that I thought was a unique find. And then I got this five pack of Matchbox cars as well. The Lumina van was $5, and then I got the pack of Matchbox cars for $7. So I think those were a decent deals. This is actually the original release of this um, taxi cast thing with those uh, wheels on there. I do like the card art on the front and also the details on the back of the card as, as well. This is from around 1991, I want to say. We'll get that out, out of the blister next. There we go. That is an interesting looking casting. And you can even see the three rows of seats that the actual van would have. That's interesting attention to a detail there, but very cool casting. It even has a yellow plastic base on it too, which is a unique feature for sure. Awesome. That's another unique find right there. Then up next, I did get this interesting Matchbox 5-pack from the early 2000s. They're all just castings of various uh, like modern cars from the early 2000s. I got this set for $7, which I thought was a good deal. There's the back portion of the box. I couldn't find a copyright date. I tried to look at this text here, and there's actually some more text on the bottom, but I couldn't figure it out. But there's the 2000s Matchbox. Hero City logo. Get this cracked open. Interesting looking cars, for sure. The BMW Hex 5 is the first casting of the set in this unique gold. You got some tampos on the lower portions of the doors, nice kind of metallic gold finish. Standard 2000s Matchbox uh, wheels as well. Cool. Next, we have this Volkswagen Microbus concept from the early 2000s in white and blue. I do like the color scheme that Matchbox chose for this. Very cool. There is some interior detail. You just can't really see it through, the, through that dark tint on the windows, but that's another um, cool casting for sure. Next, we have the Smart 4.2 Cabrio in green with a blue interior, and then you have some decos on the side there. This might be the original release of this cast thing. I do have another version of this from around 2007. It's like a dark metallic red, but that looks cool. Then we have a 2000 Corvette in red with these Corvette tampos on the sides. I do like that red. It's actually the same red of the other smart car that I have now that I'm thinking of it. But I do like that cast thing and this Corvette cast thing. And last but not least, we have this Porsche Boxster in this very nice metallic silver with the red interior. And then you have the Boxster inscription on the back and the Porsche logo on the hood. This actually might be my favorite car of this five pack right here. 
very well detailed. All right, there's those last few um, small-scale cars that I got from the show. Definitely glad to have stopped in and gotten these. And I did give the tank car, this is Tropicana on it, as well as the two refrigerator cars a nice thorough cleaning because they were quite dusty and kind of grimy, but I was definitely glad to find these. And here is my HO scale layout that I was talking about. I don't think I've shown this before on my YouTube channel or on the Instagram page, but um, this is it right here. My grandfather and I built this back in 2010. It was originally a slightly smaller layout, but we actually um, made it bigger in 2010. I do have a couple of uh, trains on here currently. Back here is the train station with all the different people and cars there. I have a school, various houses, a general store, a diner. I got a freight station back here, a laundromat, and then here's all the various HO scale trains I have up on my shelves there. But yeah, I haven't really shown my layout all that much, if at all, since I started the uh, channel. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at that. And I do also have a lumber yard over here with, with a second kind of smaller freight station. Then we have that school and my fire station as well. And again, I'll probably do a more in-depth video. And there's also a farm on this corner. And then I have kind of a construction zone going on back there. So... Um, I do want to kind of make a separate video that showcases the layout and kind of gives more details on what I have going on here in terms of the different trains and cars and whatnot, but I did want to kind of show it briefly in this video here since I did end up getting some train-related things from that show. And last but not least here is that Ferrari Testarossa that I got for only $10, as you see with that price tag there. This is made by Barago. And it, I think, is the original release version of this model from, like, 1984 or 1985. I will do a separate video where I unbox this, but I just wanted to give you kind of a quick look at that at the model here. So I would say that the show is definitely worth going to, and I do want to go to the summer show. I think it's in July or something like that. But it was definitely worth going there, even just for these cars that you see right here. Um, not even including all the various train-related stuff that I found and that big Ferrari. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show off what I found from the show and to kind of show you the various, I guess, hidden gems that you can find at um, train and toy shows if you happen to be able to go to one. So feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on the various models and trains that I got from this show. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.